there, my name's Sarah, and this is a quick supplemental video to talk about text tools in Clip Studio Paint that are more commonly used with non-English language text. As CSP is a product of Japan, I'll be focusing on features especially for Japanese text. Links to my other text tool videos can be found in the description below. And please bear with me. Nihango o amari hanasemasen. I don't speak much Japanese. First, let's talk about the text list. It's a map of all characters, or glyphs, in the currently selected font. It becomes available when you're in text edit mode. For another view of it that's easier to use, click the wrench icon to open the subtool detail palette and select text list. It may look blank initially, but as you scroll, you'll see the glyphs. You can use this dropdown to jump to the section you're interested in. Basic Latin is at the beginning, but your font may contain symbols and characters of any number of languages. Simply click a character once to add it. Fonts won't contain all or even most of the available character slots, so you'll see a lot of blanks. For example, if I go to the Hiragana character set, this font doesn't have it, but I have other fonts that do. Here's some text in a pretty script style, but I want to include some Japanese characters not available in this font. I could go in and change the font manually, but there's an easier way, mixing fonts. In the Subtool Detail palette, go to Font. Make sure you don't currently have any text selected, and you'll see the Mixing Font option is available. Click New. The current font is set as the default, but you can choose any from the list. I'll add a second font for hiragana and katakana by checking this box and choosing one with Japanese characters. The box beside it is the size in comparison to the default font. In this case, 90% looks best. To also support kanji, add the Chinese character option the same way. Give the mixing font a name, and then hit OK. Mixing fonts appear at the bottom of the font list. When selected, you'll see the options to change or delete them. Now when I type, my Latin symbols appear in my script font, but I can also add Japanese characters. You'll sometimes see smaller characters alongside kanji as a pronunciation guide. This is called furigana, and it's easy in CSP using the reading option. Go into Edit Mode and select the word. In the Subtool Detail palette, go to Reading, then click Reading Setting. Type the reading for that whole word, and hit the Enter key. The other settings control the font, size, spacing, and position of the reading. To remove a reading, make sure you're in Edit Mode, select the text, open Reading Setting, and click Delete. Often, readings are associated with their specific kanji, and you can do that too. Select each letter at a time and add their reading the same way. The readings appear above horizontal text, and to the right of vertical text. Speaking of vertical text, you may have noticed it doesn't work as you might expect for the Latin alphabet, just turning the characters 90 degrees to the side. Vertical text in CSP is very much set up for Japanese top-to-bottom, right-to-left writing. Long story short, the standard glyphs used in the Latin alphabet are half-width characters, and the standard glyphs for Japanese are full-width characters. In Clip Studio Paint, full-width characters set to vertical act the way you'd expect, but most half-width characters are turned sideways. The ones that aren't are because of the Tatechu Yoko settings, which I'll talk about in a moment. The bad news is, it's not really set up to make standard Latin glyphs vertical easily. Sorry, don't hurt the messenger. However, there are a couple workarounds. For now, the quickest and easiest is just to leave your text horizontal and add a new line between each letter. I'll talk about another way in a moment. Another setting you might be curious about is called Tatechu Yoko. This means that consecutive half-width characters may appear horizontally even when the text is vertical. You often see this with numbers in Japanese. There are actually two Tatechu Yoko settings, Auto and Manual. 
The auto setting is under text and will only become active when you're in editing mode. It's set to two characters by default, which is why short words in the Latin alphabet may inexplicably appear side by side. In this dropdown, you can change the number of characters affected or turn it off entirely by selecting None. With Auto Tatechu Yoko set to None, you can still set it manually for specific text. Select part of the text. Go to the Font section and enable the Tatechu Yoko option. Whatever you've selected, no matter how long, will now appear horizontal in your vertical text. This is also the other way I mentioned of making Latin characters vertical. You can select them one by one and enable Tatecho Yoko. Okay, between all three videos, that's everything I wanted to cover about text in Clip Studio Paint. Be sure to subscribe for more tutorials and art. You can also follow me at Ms. Red Nebula on Twitter and Instagram. I'll see you soon! A big thank you to all of my patrons, with a special shout out to Novatir patron Joe C. Phipps. Check out my Patreon if you'd like to help support future content like this.